Okay, so I've got some more questions for you, but this time this is from the January 2021 TOG. Um, again, these questions are for MRCOG Part 2 revision, um, as I feel that um, it's only by doing the questions um, you can consolidate your learning from the TOG articles. Um, as I remember, when, when I was revising for my Part 2 exam, um, the TOG articles were the most difficult um, for me to um, recall things from um, as, I'd, it, as it was something that um, there weren't many questions on at the time um, and what I had done was I'd created questions from these articles to help my learning and this is what I'm sharing it with you. Um, I hope you'll find them useful and if you do, then please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment um, below the video to tell me how useful you found these videos. The first question is, what is the inheritance pattern of Lynch syndrome? Is it A, autosomal recessive? Is it B, autosomal dominant? Is it C, X-linked recessive? Or is it D, X-linked dominant? The answer is autosomal dominant. Question number two is, what is the percentage of dermoid cysts that are bilateral? Is it 10 to 20 percent? Is it B, 50 percent? Is it C, 30 percent? Is it D, 1 to 2 percent? Or is it E, 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is 10 to 20 percent. Question number three is what is the recurrence rate of dermoid cyst following cystectomy? Is it 10 to 20 percent? Is it 3 to 4 percent? Is it 30 percent? Is it 1 to 2 percent or 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is three to four percent. Question number four, what percentage of endometriomas are bilateral? Is it 10 to 20 percent? Is it 50 percent? Is it 30 percent? Or is it one to two percent or 28 percent? And the answer is 28 percent. Question number five, what is the percentage of endometriomas in women with endometriosis? Is it 10 to 20 percent, 50 percent, 17 to 44 percent, 1 to 2 percent or 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is it's 17 to 44 percent. Question number six, what is the risk of antenatal hospital admission for very advanced maternal age women? Is it 10 to 20 percent? Is it 50 percent, 30 percent, 1 to 2 percent or 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is it's 30 percent. What is the risk of PPH as postpartum hemorrhage for women of very advanced maternal age, 10 to 20 percent, B, 25 percent, C, 30 percent, D, 1 to 2 percent, or is it E, 44 percent? And the answer is 25 percent. Question number eight, what is the risk of hypertensive disease for women of very advanced maternal age? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 50 percent, C, 6 to 32 percent, D, 1 to 2 percent, or E, 2 to 4 percent? The answer is 6 to 32 percent. What is the increased risk of placenta previa in women of very advanced maternal age? Is it A, 10 
rate to 20%? Is it B, two times increased risk? Is it C, three times the risk? Is it D, one to two percent? Or E, two to four percent? And the answer is three times the risk. Number 10, what is the risk of admission to intensive care for women with very advanced maternal age? So A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 33.5 times, C, 30 percent, D, 1 to 2 percent, or E, 2 to 4 percent. The answer is 33.5 times. Number 11. So this brings us to halfway through the presentation. If you have um, stuck by so far, then please give my video a thumbs up um, and tell me in the comments um, as to how you've been liking these questions and how useful you found these videos. Question number 11. What is the absolute rate of stillbirth and perinatal death in women of very advanced maternal age? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 50 percent, C, 30 percent, D, 1 to 1.87 percent or E, 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is 1 to 1.8 percent. What is the risk of trisomy in women of 49 years of age? Is it A, 1 in 45, B, 1 in 14, C, 1 in 15, D, 1 in 25, or E, 1 in 30? The answer is 1 in 25. Number 13. If a woman stops smoking before what gestation, the risk is the same as that for non-smokers? A. 28 weeks. B. 20 weeks. C. 16 weeks. D. 24 weeks. Or is it E. 8 weeks? The answer is 16 weeks. What is the normal level of CA125? Is it A, 70, B, 28, C, 135, D, 20 or E, 40? And the answer is under 35 in the international units per day. Number 15. What is the placental delayed villus maturation associated with? Is it A. Term stillbirth, B. Preeclampsia, C. GDM, D. SGA or E. IUGR? The answer is term stillbirth. Number 16. What is the cumulative lifetime risk of colorectal cancer in MLH1 pathogenic variants? Is it A, 47%, is it B, 50%, is it C, 30%, D, 1-2% or E, 2-4%? And the answer is 47%. Number 17. What is the endometrial cancer survival rates in women with Lynch syndrome? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 50 percent, C, 30 percent, D, 90 percent, and E, 2 to 4 percent. The answer is 90 percent. Number 18. What is the prevalence of ovarian cancer in women with Lynch syndrome? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 50 percent, C, 30 percent, D, 1 to 2 percent, or E, 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is 1 to 2 percent. Number 19. What is the percentage of emergency gynecological surgeries that's done for ovarian torsion? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent, B, 50 percent, C, 3 percent, D, 1 to 2 percent, or is it E, 2 to 4 percent?
and the answer is 3%. Number 20 and the final question from this set of talk. What is the rate of recurrence of endometriomas in the treated ovary? Is it A, 10 to 20 percent? Is it B, 50 percent? Is it C, 81 percent? Is it D, 1 to 2 percent? Or is it E, 2 to 4 percent? And the answer is 81 percent. Well, thank you so much for following this series of questions. Um, if you um, found these questions useful, then please leave a comment below and like the video and share it um, with your colleagues and friends who, who, who are thinking about doing the MRCOG Part 2 exam. I really hope that you found these questions useful. As I said, I've used these questions to revise for my exam and I found these um, of tremendous help um, and I'm hoping um, they'll do the same for you.